so uh, first let's just you know talk about the common concerns for your cloud data privacy right so the legal issues that whatever is going to come up is always going to be related that you know most of the time is because you are not in the control of the physical you know environment now if you are using the cloud you will be storing might be some of your personal data might be you are using it to host a service where your customers you know private data is being stored now wherever wherever that data is going to be stored it is going to be your responsibility and all the cost we have already seen the data life cycle management and all but this here will be related to the you know, your legal issues that will be starting now when we talk about the common concern for a, your cloud data privacy so those common concerns they are around the data privacy they have to do with where you are actually consuming the service from from and where are cloud provider systems located this is just going to work with that now we have to understand that from consumption strategy that we choose with the provider that we go along with okay so we know that where they, they are saying we do exact don't know the location right but we know that you know we are selecting a particular region and you know where these things are now we also should be concerned about the data subject so we will find out that the data subject is actually the center of the whole universe over here right so everything revolves around the you know your when it comes to the data privacy everything revolves around your data subject and this would include your physical server location even though we are in abstract and virtualized world in the cloud but physical server location is also going to play a very important part that where those physical servers are residing like again your bgmi got banned in india first it was pubg then become bgmi and then bgmi also got banned why because when you go ahead when you know they were going and sending pinging the data in the you know, server in the china picking up the data from there and then working so there was still our data was stored in the you know your china over there so still the physical location also plays work a play important role okay this will be because of physical location why we are talking about you know, this will be dictating the means of my legal jurisdiction that is what country what state what region has the right to hear a case concerning a legal matter tied to a data privacy also treaties and other legal framework have an effect on data privacy and we will consider some of these as well okay now when we are talking about the data you know uh, privacy there are three primary role okay so the three primary role are if you if you are investigating the primary role of the data privacy okay if you were to investigate the primary role of data privacy there are three primary role even though there are other that are stated but in generic theme if i will talk about you will be finding along around the globe around the different rules regulations law three things are in the center data subject data controller data processor these three are the common terms now what will be the data subject you know which we were calling the center of the universe it is the one you know about which you are you know in for gathering that information it is let's say that i created one account for you others your account with the azure so you are the data subject your data your card detail has gone up there right so this one is who can be identified directly or indirectly by reference to any identification number okay or the one or more factor is, which is very specific to their physical or their you know psychological mental you know economic cultural or even some societal identity like telephone number ip address 
these things can help you to identify an exact person about whom we are talking about now the data controller is the natural or legal person the public authority the agency or any other body that alone or jointly with others determine the purpose and mean of processing the personal data means your organization in this particular case you know i'll be giving you a very good example for this one so in this one someone of you know personal or individual collection of people of the public authority agency who is determining that what you know the data should be processed how the data should be processed and how the data should be collected and processed that would be whole about the data controller now it is very important to you know just wait for a moment to understand because it seems like that you know your data controller has all the authority they only got those authority by the mean of consent that what we were talking about consent and then all that they choose to do with the data is determined by the national community laws or regulation so the data controllers will be the body who will be you know determining the purpose and mean of processing the personal data what to do how to do but they will be doing on the basis of what you know if they are collecting information about a user they are collecting via their consent and if they have to process that data they will be doing it according to the community laws or the regulation and then there come the data processor so this is working along with a processor and typically consumer that the service of that processor in order to get the controlling done right these are the very official kind of definition but if we talk about the very simple thing like when you are watching a netflix i think this is a very common example that most of the people they give okay so what happen is you know i go and i register myself over there that i am a user this is my card detail and all those things now what i am right let's say that who is rishabh rishabh is what rishabh is the data subject over there now they have you know substance of different amount of your pii credit card name address so who is controller in this case so netflix is the your data controller and who is the processor so netflix they consume a service through the let's say aws platform right so aws become in this case the processor so the controller is always accountable for the data of the data subject so always netflix is going to be held responsible for my data if it got breached right the processor is responsible for providing the platform and the infrastructure only right so these things are going to revolve around over here 